It's a good short return by Gauzy. You'll see that Gauzy will be forced back away from the table, but he's not uncomfortable back there. Yoshida will be playing close to the table, using his forehand a lot in this match. So Gauzy taking the early couple of points, 2-0. Good short backspin serve. So, Gauzy has taken the last two encounters. So, there, that serve going long and that ball just clipping the net on their backhand. Getting Yoshida on the board. Great top spin rally. That time Yoshida being forced back away from the table, not where he really wants to be. You see the error coming when he's back there. Tricky little serve. A little bit of top spin on that one. Gauzy goes to the towel. After six points, Yoshida follows him. You'll see that players come up and touch the table near the net in between points often. That's just to dry their hand off normally. So they're only allowed to use the towel every six points. And uh, that's why they go up to, uh, to the net there and touch the table. But a lot of the time it becomes a little bit of a habit. And you'll see that even if they haven't got a sweaty hand, they'll go up and touch the net. Good forehand, cross court there by Gauzy. Good serve, good short ball, crack. So both these players will be looking to do what Yoshida tried there and play that ball down the line on the last ball. They will both have a bit of success because both players don't mind being around on their backhand corner. These players played each other reasonably recently in... Uh, Bundesliga as well. So, Gauzy taking a good eight point, point to four lead. Again, both players going over to the uh, to the towels. They don't take a lot of time at the towel, just wiping down, getting ready, making sure everything's ready and right to play the next six points. And that's what we're talking about with the ball down from the backhand to the forehand corner. So both these players are a little bit susceptible wide out on their forehand corner. Pretty comfortable on their backhand corner. So Yoshida likes to play forehands, but he isn't all that strong when he's wider out on the forehand. Same with Gauzy. And very quickly, a 10-5 lead and five game points for Gauzy. And backhand error, giving Gauzy the first game 11 points to five in this men's singles quarterfinal.
So Gauzy going back to his corner to Jean-René Mooney. Mooney looks, must, would have been pretty happy with uh, Gauzy, I'm sure. Gauzy mixed things up pretty well. But for me, I think Yoshida just, just made a few mistakes. Really tried to force the ball too much sometimes. Just needs to be a little bit more patient. Although that's not his, not that it, that strong um, with Yoshida. But he does need to be a little bit patient and and wait to play his strong forehands. And I think both players just need to exploit that ball deep into the forehand corner as well. We saw there Yoshida missing missing one. I think he can he can do that again. He needs to try that forehand corner. Again, he tried that forehand corner, but missed. So, players ready now for the second game. Gauzy to serve, leading one game to nil in this men's singles quarterfinal. Change up serve there, deep fast serve into Yoshida's middle. He was trying to get around and play his forehand, but couldn't get there, couldn't make the ball on the table. Quickly, 0 2. Um, ball just clipping the top of the net there for a let. Oh, ho, ho, like this. Play by Gauzy. He gets right around on the forehand corner, uses his backhand and blasts that ball down the line right into the corner of the table. Oh, this time went around on the back, used the backhand, tried to go the other direction but missed. Similar play. Maybe could have gone down the line again. Yoshida really hasn't settled into a rhythm here. So Yoshida taking that point, getting back to 2 4. Once, once Yoshida gets into a bit of a rhythm, I think he'll be okay. He just needs to start to land those forehands. A little bit of luck. Ball popped up for him and he made no mistake with that one. Back to four all trying desperately to get his teeth into this second game. Beautiful down the line ball there by Gauzy. Gauzy got, has a good wrist and able to change the direction there down the line. Yoshida didn't read that ball at all. is what I'm expecting from this match. I'm expecting Gauzy to be back. I'm expecting Yoshida to be thumping his forehands. That one just going a little bit long. Had time. 
he was on it. Japanese team there. So Gauzy very quickly around onto his forehand here. Yoshida tried to surprise him, but Gauzy up to the task. Trying something a little bit different. So players again toweling. Six all. That's a let. So Yoshida with his nose in front. Here we go again. Oh, what a rally. Simone Gorsi is shaking his head. How did he miss that, he's thinking, but how did he get the other five on? Have a look at this play. So Yoshida taking advantage, thumping the ball with his forehand, forcing Gorsi away and taking a two-point lead in this second game. Now, that's an interesting call. That's the side of the table. So if the ball hits the side of the table, it's out. It needs to hit some part of the top of the table to be in, and we might get a good view of it here. So hard to see, but that was the side of the table. So Gauzy's point. There we are, back at eight all. Was he good little variation? Yeah, forcing the error. Go ahead. And again, good variation. So was he really into a rhythm here now, taking the lead again. And pumps his fist to his coach. Oh. Oh. Forced that return. Yoshi had a great wide, fast return ball there. Because he wasn't expecting that one. Nine all. Game in the balance. Who can be stronger here? Come on, come on. Well, well, well. Yoshida got, trying the surprise serve again. And he got burnt early in the game and he's been burnt again. So Gauzy, game point, 10-9. Oh, and an error. Giving Simone Gauzy the second game, 11 points to nine, and a two games to love lead. That ball just clipping the top of the net and going off, and you can see Yoshida 
not happy at all. Simone Gorzi leading this men's singles quarterfinal. Two games to love, 11-5, 11-9. So Chu Jian Jin, the coach, is little, shaking his head a little bit. He knows he knows that Yoshida is in this match, thinking about trying to keep that ball short, keeping the and then playing that ball wide into into the back end. So have a look at Gauzy. He's back there. He just makes that ball low enough low enough with enough spin and just forces the error from Yoshida. Here's Yoshida. Uh, and not happy. So players ready for game three of this men's singles quarterfinal. Simone Gorzi leading two games to love. Yoshida serving in the second, in the third game. Yoshida is a fighter, so he won't be he won't be laying down easily. But that second game was pretty crucial. Oh, oh another error by Yoshida. So a couple of crucial little points here happening. One at the end of that second game, and then this point here. And that's really just the accumulated pressure that Gauzy puts on you because he gets so many balls back. Have a look at this ball from out wide by Yoshida. Round the net. Love it. Again, because he finds himself in a little bit of a hole, down 1-3, able to come out of it in the second game. Yeah, good serve by Yoshida there, so serving into the forehand. Gauzy wanting to get around on his backhand, but couldn't make it. time trying to go a little bit too wide trying to go down the line but the line wasn't there so you should adjust Allowing Gauzy back in, giving him a sniff, making the error there. And that time Gauzy, good spin into the backhand, forcing the error. Just that's that's just a little bit of variation that Gauzy places on the ball. A little bit of variation of spin and speed. And you know that he's going to get a lot of balls back, so you're always under a bit of pressure if you're attacking at him. then he gives you an easy point like that. So 4-6, Gauzy hanging in. And again, that's, that's, that's the nice placement that Gauzy can 
have. So he had that ball on top of the table and then just changed his wrist angle a little bit, pushed that ball into Yoshida's middle, and Yoshida decides to take a timeout. It's a good idea. He was looking on top in this third game. He needs to win this third game to really get back and, uh, and try to rest some of the ascendancy that Gauzy has, has displayed so far. So there's Jean-René Muni, Gauzy's coach, and Chu Jian Xin, Yoshida's coach. Let's just see if we can work out what, what these coaches are trying to uh, tell their players. He's talking about going wide with the backhand. That is a nice play. So Yoshida's coming back out onto the table. It's the end of the timeout, so he really needs, needs to make this count. He needs to make this third game his to get himself back in. He's used his timeout. He's put invested in it, needs to get a result. Wow, wow, wow. Gauzy pumping his fist, looking at his coach. He was happy with that. So he should be. Good counter. Great forehand counter spin. Getting it back to six all. Really putting some pressure on Yoshida now. Remember, Yoshida's taken his time out in this game. Oh, he just missed that. <laughs> he knows it too. He knows that that was close. Had Yoshida going the wrong way. Oh, look at Yoshida. He's nowhere near it. Doesn't matter if the ball doesn't hit the table. Oh, beautiful return there by Gauzy. Have a look at the way that Gauzy can just use his wrist, change the angles. Catching Yoshida wide. Gauzy really turning the screws here. Getting the lead. Good short serve. Yoshida really feeling under pressure here now. Hasn't got into any, any rhythm at all yet in this match. He likes to be getting around and thumping forehands. We've only seen it a couple of times. Gauzy oh. uh, went, went with a nice return there again. But this time, Yoshida was, was ready. And nice counter topspin putting Gauzy under a bit of pressure, giving him a taste of his own medicine. Another side spin return by Gauzy. A little bit of luck that time, getting the top of the net, but it was always going to be awkward for Yoshida. And now a 10-8 lead in this third game. Gauzy leading two games to nil. Game point. Yoshida isn't done yet. That's where he wants to be, making forehands. And now Gauzy takes his timeout. 
So this has been a big game. Timeout for Gauzy. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds to get some advice from his coach, Jean-René Mouni, to try and close this out. Both players now know that this game is vital. Game st standing at 10 points to nine. Yoshida pacing. So Gauzy just uh, toweling down, preparing himself. Has he got the magic instructions that can get him over the line in this third game? So Gauzy, 10-9. Both players taking their time out in this game. Oi, oi, oi. So, Simone Gauzy, have a look at this finish in game three. Just a beautiful counter top spin to take the third game and a three game to love lead. Simone Gauzy leading Masaki Yoshida. Three games to love in this men's singles quarterfinal. 11-5, 11-9, 11-9. What can Masaki Yoshida do? Can he find a way to keep Gauzy a little bit closer to the table and then execute some thumping forehands? Will Simone Gauzy be able to use that variation of his, the variation with his returns, the beautiful touch that he has the change of angles so can Simone Gauzy close it out or has Masaki Yoshida got something else in his bag that he's going to be able to hit back with So players ready for game four of this men's singles quarterfinal. Simone Gauzy leading three games to love against Masaki Yoshida. Gauzy serving. Let to start proceedings. And another let. So still a let. You can serve as many lets as you like, you never lose a point. <laughs> so we, we see there some of the some of the angles and the wrist action of Gauzy. Lots of side spin on there, side spin on this ball, but Yoshida said, nah, that's not good enough. So one, one all in this fourth game. Joy, joy, joy. So Gauzy really stamped himself on that rally. So we know that Gauzy's got some nice slow variations, but watch these fast variations with the backhand. Really put some time pressure on Yoshida. And a fault there. So maybe some time and some mental pressure on. And that's the one down into, deep into the forehand corner that we thought we'd see a bit of. Jean Rene in the background there looking pretty calm. This time, Yoshida put some time pressure on, ripping the backhand. Says, I'm not done yet. Back to 2 4. Uh, 
And again, Gauzy around on the forehand corner with a beautiful backhand flick over the table. Have a look how far he goes around. And he goes cross court this time. He can go anywhere with that backhand. And that time the inside out backhand side's been returned. A lot of players play the banana flick where they come around the left-hand side of the ball. Got it, come on. But uh, Gauzy goes around the right-hand side of the ball just to mix things up a bit. Is that a reverse banana? Got it. And good topspin there by Gauzy. And now things are looking pretty ominous for Masaki Yoshida. So, 3 8. Can he claw his way back? That's a good serve. Short backspin. Gauzy didn't read it. Have a look at this spin on this ball. Backspin. Oh, Gauzy dunks it. 9-4. So Yoshida, yeah, he's looking a little bit worried there, and so he should. Down three games to love. 9-4. Gauzy on the brink of men's single semi-final. And now, 10-4, six match points for Simone Gauzy. Oh. Oh. What a way to finish with a classic side spin ball from Simone Gauzy to take this men's singles quarterfinal four games to nil against Masaki Yoshida. And there we see Jean René very happy with his charge, taking the quarterfinal and getting through to the semi-final of the Seamaster 2017 ITTF World Tour Platinum Australian Open men's singles. Look at the side spin on that. And Simone Gauzy very happy with himself there. And there's the match scores. Four games to nil. 11-5, 11-9, 11-9, 11-4. That is a pretty devastating result there. Gauzy right on top. So, so far this morning we've seen some great table tennis with the women's singles quarterfinals up first. Wang Man Yu over Chen Jin Tong, four games to nil. That was followed by the second of the women's singles quarterfinals with Zhu Yu Ling, the number one here, winning four nil against Maki Shiomi. And then our two men's singles quarterfinals, Jun Mizutani. The number one seed going down in the shock result to Cho Sung Min. And up later this afternoon, we